The retro format scene has been taking Yu-Gi-Oh! by storm. And whether it's entering a Time Wizard tournament or just tuning into your favorite creator's retro-based series, there's one thing that they all have in common. We all want a chance to go back in time and run it back. What's up guys and welcome to Let's Run It Back. Today I have the very successful multi-event topping and YCS champion, Brian Chen. Now, Brian and I are always looking for ways to test our skills and with the release of the 25th anniversary collection, we decided to hash things out with some old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Today, we're each gonna crack open a display of the 25th anniversary collection. We're gonna build a deck, we're gonna play a best two out of three, and hopefully by the end of this, we'll really see who the better duelist is. Oh, and also, Konami plans on releasing booster boxes for each of these retro sets, so you better believe even after we hash things out today, once we get our hands on those boxes, we're gonna run it back again. But as excited as I am for the future episodes to come, we have some business to settle today. So let's pass it to Brian and we're gonna crack open some packs. Hey guys, it's uh, Brian. Most of you guys know me as the Sky Tracker guy. First time being on the channel. And uh, I guess today I'm gonna be doing an opening of the Legendary Collection 25th anniversary. We're gonna be cracking a box each and we're gonna be building a deck. And I guess we'll see, you know, who the better player is. This set's cool in particular because it just has the reprints of the older sets and comes with a 25th anniversary promo. What I'm looking to pull here are obviously the um, like good staples and stuff like Podigree, Regeki, and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get cracking. All right, here we go. One whole display of the 25th anniversary legendary collection since we're only opening one display each the odds of hitting these stronger staple cards are a lot lower but i'm feeling pretty confident even if we don't hit the blowout cards like raigeki or monster reborn or anything of that nature i still feel pretty confident in being able to take brian out in an easy 2-0 all right so we got five of each pack because there's five boxes per display gives us a total of 30 packs which is about 270 cards in total this should be more than enough to build a deck but whether or not it's going to be cohesive we're going to find out i think what i'm going to do is go in chronological order just because in my brain that makes the most sense for the first pack we have a lesser dragon beaver warrior dragon treasure one-eyed shield dragon larvis yami M Warrior number one, a Tai Hone, and a Dark Flare Dragon as a rare. This really isn't going to come up at all. That's unfortunate. Pack number two Ray and Temperature, Electro Whip, Masaki, Hitatsumi. There it is, Fisher. A rare, but this is going to be pretty good. All right, let's keep it going. Can we get the Pot of Greed? Can we get a Raigeki or Dark Hole? My fingers are crossed. Oh, I guess that wasn't four. Uh, well, we got a Flame Swordsman and a Flower Wolf. Um, yeah. Remove Trap, I guess. This will go in the side. There's a Wasteland, Monster Egg, Red Medicine, Card I Can't Pronounce, Mystic Moon, Two Prong Attack. Uh, I mean, we might actually have to play this. Here we go. Last pack, Dark Gray, Metabat, Kagamusha, Green Phantom, Terra the Terrible, Dark World Thorns, Turtle Tiger, Beast Fangs, and Stop defense as our last rare truthfully i don't know a lot of like what's in what set beside obviously lob so we have lob metal raiders pharaoh servant dark crisis spell ruler and invasion of chaos so hopefully we get something good first pack pack number one got trial of nightmare dark will thorns spirit of the harp tripwire blast just a bunch of vanilla monsters power of kaishin uh if this was like just lob um I'm pretty sure we'd be using a lot more of these spells in like vanilla monsters because they're just like, you know, they just have attack. All right, pack number two, we got Saggy. Mushroom Man number two, Crass Clown. This card's actually pretty good. Definitely gonna put that aside. Dark Elf and ooh, Barrel Dragon. That card's pretty good. Off to a pretty good start, got an Ultra Rare. Uh, Driving Snow, Gift to, of the Mystical Elf, Magic Crusher, Life Force Sword. All of these old cards have been used uh, in today's meta, so it's pretty cool to see if we can use it in a retro format. Shooting Star Bow Seal, Dice Reroll. Deathrook Archfiend, Trice, different dimension gay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Spell Ruler. Ooh, Curse of Fiend. Penguin Knight. Yeah, we're looking for some really good spell cards in these. Uh, Senju, Griggle, Wall Shadow, Chain Energy. Ooh, that's a pretty good card. Hopefully we can get some uh, good Chaos Monsters. Looking for a Chaos Sorcerer in the common slot, especially. Fuma Shuriken, Granadora. Ooh, Grand Maju. 
All right, so starting it off, we have a King Prevent Rat. This actually might be relevant. It's a 2K Defender, Armored Zombie, a uh, card I can't pronounce, the Little Swordsman. Yes, Sangan. That is so... Oh, it looks like we got a foil. <laughs> Gate Guardian. Um, Cool, I guess. All right, can we get the Mirror Force? Can we get another Sangan? Can we get a Witch? Fingers crossed. Larva Moth, Mega Thunderball, Protector of the Throne, Launcher Spider, Ancient Lizard. Oh. All right, one, two, three, four. And let's see. Oh, maybe I need to start doing three from the back just in case. But we do have a Harpy Lady Sister. Kind of useless, unfortunately. Cool, super rare, but yeah, that's not too good for our pulls. And Cannon Soldier, that's kind of funny, but... I don't think we're gonna be playing this. Skull Knight for the extra deck? Yes, <laughs> seven colored fish. I was really hoping to see more of these. We do have another pack. We need as many of these kind of cards as we can get because again, just big monsters is gonna be great for tempo. Paralyzing Potion, this actually might see play as well. Pale Beast, Blade Fly, and another Harpy's Lady Sister? Are you serious? Yeah, check this out, back to back. All right, so we got Lady of Faith, Golem Destroyer, another Cybersaurus. There's a Thunder Dragon, but this is our last pack. We got Yado, Deep Sea Shark, Share the Pain. We have Stim Pack. This is Malevolent Nuzzler at home. We're definitely going to be playing this as well because it gives a 700 boost to your monsters. And there's the Elegant Egotist for our two Harpy Lady sisters with, you know, no Harpy Ladies. What? Right. See if we can get it this pack. Got some vanilla monsters and flame ghost. All right, nothing here. Yeah, LOB is pretty tough when it comes to uh, getting these uh, good meta relevant cards because um they're mostly just in the rares and foil slots. Not like, uh, there aren't like as many good commons in here. We got fake trap, ooh, and a super rare Carnicia elephantus. Pretty good, ooh, seven colored fish. I know Justin's been talking about this nonstop, so hopefully we can uh, get them with the seven colored fish. We have a few more chances to pull a playset. I mean, level 4, 1800 is pretty strong. So, yeah. Darkfire Soldier, Overdrive, Reign of Mercy. Ooh, Nobleman of Extermination. This card's really good into back row. It's just basically MST. Plus, if we have multiple copies, you would just banish copies in their deck as well. So, it's pretty good. Ooh, Fairy Meteor Crush. Yeah, these spell card super rares have been really good in the past. So, hopefully, we can get some good uh, foils out of this one. Ooh, it's a level 4, 1850. It's way better than 7 Color Fish. I don't know what he was talking about. Moving on to Spell Ruler. Ooh, Hungry Burger. Pretty cool. Got some new uh, support in the um, upcoming set for Yu-Gi-Oh. Amoeba and Metal Fish. Ooh, Upstar Goblin. I don't think we need uh, consistency like too much in this format because we're not a combo deck. Ryu Koki. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, our first Chaos Sorcerer. That's definitely really good. Thunder Crash. Fuma Shuriken. Ooh, Dark Magician of Chaos. Definitely something that will probably be included in our deck since there are a lot of good spell cards that you can pull. Psychic Kappa. Hungry Burger. That's awesome. And then a Ryu Ran. Eternal Rest. We got the Queen Bird. Flying Kamakuri, this is not the best of the floaters, but we'll take what we can get. Hopefully we have some decent targets. And we have Confiscation. Okay, this is a pretty dang good card. It's just a one for one, but hand knowledge is so important, especially in a tempo-based game like this. I'm glad we have at least one power card. We have a Shadow Wall, High Tide Godin, Mystic Plasma Zone of Curse of Fiend. This card's hilarious. Penguin Knight, Course of the Sanctuary is a pretty interesting card. Mechanical Snail, Chain Energy. This is pretty funny, but uh, I mean, depending how our pulls go, maybe we can go to this. We got Fire Kraken, Whip Tail Crow. We got the Ritual Spell and a mother grizzly i'm gonna have to check the waters we got another core sanctuary i actually think we might be playing this if we desperately need it liquid beast there's another chain energy all right final pack we got the confiscation but we're definitely looking for something big to turn this around spear cretin that's pretty good if we can get some flip effects uh <laughs> another one of these and oh okay we got another foil a spell binding circle this actually could be pretty relevant as well again just protecting our monsters to set up tribute summons all right lob our third shot at getting uh, one of those staples. All right. Ooh, another fusion. It's not, not very good since we don't have instant fusion. All right, Metal Raiders. I believe Mirror Force is in this set, so we'll uh, have a crack at that. We got another Fake Trap and Block Attack. Pharaoh Servant. Ooh, Magic Drain. That's really good. Since there are a lot, like a spell, a lot of spell cards that you can play since it's like limited to what you can pull. Um, this card is basically just Solemn Judgment for just spells, but it's like no life point cost, so that'll be pretty good. All right, Dark Crisis. I believe Final Countdown's in here. And non-spell casting area. Uh, let's see. All right, that's a level 7, 2100. Probably not going to use this. We pulled some better ones earlier. All right, Invasion of Chaos. See if we can get another Chaos Sorcerer. If we get another, if we get, I think if we get like um, three Chaos Sorcerers, we can uh, build a light and dark strategy. So I guess we'll see. Ooh, that's interesting. Usually you get four cards in a rare, so maybe we have a foil here. And yes, we do. 
DD Scout Plane. Oh, that was weird. I didn't know the uh, various came this early. We got the Bombardment Beetle, Solemn Wishes. All right, we might have a little degenerate strategy that we could build here. We got the Chorus Sanctuaries and the Chain Energies to buff up our defense and then, of course, burn him slowly. If our pulls aren't good enough, we might have to fall back on that kind of play. Come on, Pack. Treat me good. We definitely need something big to turn things around. <sighs> Legendary Fisherman. Um, if we get a bunch of Umi stuff in the next couple of packs, maybe we entertain it. We got Bubonic Vermin. If we can get a few of these, that might be decent. Earth Shaker is pretty good. Four Star Ladybug of Doom is actually really good. If we can get a couple of these, I'm going to feel a lot better. I really like this card. DNA Surgery. Oh, okay. Uh, if we also get the, uh, what is it, the Insect Barrier. Yeah, we could be pretty degenerate. Enchanted Javelin, Time Seal, a very awesome card. World Suppression, and Nobleman of Extermination. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I actually like side decking this card in a lot of retro formats, so... Uh, I mean, it's removal, so I'm definitely going to be playing this. This is pretty cool. Packs have been okay for this set. Nothing crazy, and... <laughs> There's the insect barrier. Oh, man. Okay. One, two, three. We're not doing four because we keep running into foils. Okay. There's another barrier. So if there's another DNA surgery in here, sorry, guys. Things are going to get degenerate. Wing Weaver, Oni Tank, Invasion of the Dark Sleep, Twin Headed Fire Dragon. This is a pretty decent single tribute. This is probably going to make the main. Thousand Eyes Idol, Shallow Grave. Okay. I don't know. Something to keep in mind. Grave Robber. Okay, this is pretty interesting. If Brian's spell cards are actually good, this is probably going to come in handy. I'll probably play it regardless because, you know, we're just looking for good cards. But hopefully he pulls something good, so we pull something good, I guess. Pretty cool. Hoping to get at least a Pot of Greed. Alright. And another Fusion Rare. I don't know if he pulled like three Pot of Greeds or three Regekis yet, so I guess we'll have to see. Alright. Ooh, Magician of Faith. Yeah, this is one of the rares that I was talking about. Like, I'm just adding a spell back from the grave is like super good. That's why I was talking about Magician of Chaos pretty cool Ooh, cold wave that card's really good i don't know how good it'll be in this format though but definitely one of the better cards in the game at the time dark crisis all right Ooh, sukiyomi that card's really good and ooh, butterfly dagger elma i don't know if we can do an ftk with this but uh i think we need that gear free card right Ooh, and gyaku gear panda well jama trio is in the dark crisis i believe so maybe we can get like a little strategy like that going so all right giant germ toll Another chain energy. I don't know if we'd be going the stall route, but I um, think we might be able to include it into our deck or side deck. Not sure yet. All right. Ooh, Smashing Crowd. That guy's really good. I didn't even know it was in this set. IOC. And Robin Zombie. Gaku Guy or Panda actually might be pretty decent as well. I'd love that card in GOAT format. We got Dice Roll, and then we also got Kelbeck. Ah, oh, Tier Limit. Unfortunately, looking like we're going to be stalling, but... Yeah, no. Hopefully we get something good. Okay, we got Chick the Yellow. That's a pretty good one. Cyber Raider. Sakuretsu Armor. I really hope we can hit a couple of these. Only two packs left. Hopefully we can hit another Saku. That card is crazy, and it's only a common. Final countdown. I forgot this is in here. Um, Man, I don't want to play Burn. Ojama Trio. Okay, we have the Gaku Gaier Panda in there as well. Uh, so maybe something we entertain. Hopefully this last pack's good to us. Fingers crossed. Acrobat, Monkey, Shinato's Arc. More Dark Scorpions. <laughs> Tear the Mate, Sagito. All right, Shooting Star Bow. Oh, we're going crazy here. Rod of Mind's Eye. Drag Down to the Graves. Pretty okay. Maybe I'd entertain playing it. Hey, Kalbeck, all right, and Legendary Flame Lord. Our last chance to get one of those rare LOB like good cards. It's been a pretty nice opening so far, so not complaining for sure. All right. Oh, it's another fusion, another Dark Fire Dragon. Yeah, this LOB's pack of opening has not been very good so far. Yeah, nothing, not much we can do about that. Blade Fly and Suja Suijin. Ooh, another seven color fish. Yeah, not Gaga Gigo, but definitely one of the uh, better beat sticks that is an Archfina Chaos. Ooh, Morphing Joy number two. Yeah, definitely gonna be really good. Yeah, I might be overlooking some of the really good cards, but I'm not 100% sure. All right. We got a Guardian Trice. Ooh, nothing really. I don't think we have that Panda strategy going because I think that was our last chance to get a Ojama Trio. We got Senju of the Thousand Hands. I don't think we have enough rituals to make anything out of it, but... Uh, I'll relook at the pulls in a little bit. All right, our last pack. Can we get a second Chaos Sorcerer? All right, I got Soul Absorption. Ooh, Curse Seal. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't think he's going to pull multiples of like the spell cards. Unless he got super lucky. So this would just be like a minus one for us, I feel like. But definitely something you can still include. Dawn Turtle. Coach Goblin. Ultra Evolution. Pill. Ooh, we got a foil. And Reload. Oh, Chaos Sorcerer? No. 
All right, that's, that's okay. So these are the photos that we got. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna look over the comments in a second and hopefully we can make a deck out of uh, what we pull. Invasion of Chaos, can we get a BLS? That's really what I'm looking for here. All right, here we go. Griffin's Feather Duster, cause you know that's gonna come up. Soul Tiger 21 Defender, that's definitely something we'll play. Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell, I would definitely entertain playing this as well. Balloon Lizard, this is hilarious. It's also a burn card, it's 19 Defender. All right, pack number two, come on. We definitely need some bangers here at the close neo bug okay 18 beaters we'll always take those earth chant yes smashing ground great removal hopefully we get another one we only got one saku so hopefully we get more and berserk gorilla okay these two are awesome cards this was a great pack actually all right we're almost done three more packs we got mk3 grin maju okay Terra King Salmon. Okay, this Terra King Salmon is actually our best tribute now because it's 24, which is bigger than our, what was that, the Twin Dragon? So this will definitely find a spot. Chaos Necromancer, Lord Poison, Silpede. Yes, another Smashing Ground. Okay, Pinch Hopper. That's pretty cool. And oh, second Berserk Gorilla. Okay, 2K attackers. We'll take these all day. That's really crazy. I want to pull a Chaos Monster, but I don't think we have enough lights and darks with how this opening's going, so hopefully we can just keep up this generic staple stuff out of this set. And there we go again with the awesome pack trick. After that, though, we do have a Chaos End. Fenrir. Oh my gosh. Salvage and Stealth Bird. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this one's pretty good for what we might be trying to do also. Ojama Yellow, a Hero Merges is actually pretty decent. Hyper Hammerhead's pretty cool. And then Rage Battle Ox, okay, another beater with piercing, that's pretty good. All right, so final pack, we have a Chaos End, a Griffin Feather Duster again, Soul Absorption, Molten Zombie, Witch Doctor of Chaos, and wow, this last pack, this is the worst pack yet. I'm gonna go ahead and start labbing here and try to build a deck. I'll show you guys what I come up with. But while I'm struggling with all this, I'm gonna pass it on to Brian. Peace. All right, well, this is what we came up with after much, much deliberation and going through my horrendous pulls. But you know, we were still, we were still able to scrape up something. So um, for the monsters, uh, we got two seven colored fish, um, 1800. Um, <laughs> next strongest card is 1850. I mean, this is, it, it goes up, but uh, yeah, this is like definitely the strongest one that we have for the waters. Um, I think Mad Dogs are highest at 19, about an 1800 vanilla. So uh, yeah, these are like the, sh the stronger guys. Um, so I'm playing uh, this one because uh, I'm actually very, I actually did not pull a lot of light monsters. So um, yeah, I think this is the one with the best stats that I had. So, and then we have our little chump blockers, the uh, 2000 defense dudes. Um, these are the ones that will get us through the early game if we can draw them early. I decided to play two of these because I am playing the um, the field spell that gives 500. I forgot what it's called. Uh, I think it's a uh, uh, Mystic Plasma Zone. So um, 1800 to beat stick that inflicts 500 during the each of the stamina phases can be pretty good. So yeah, I think it's pretty nice. And then two Ryu uh, Koki. Uh, level six, 24 is pretty strong. Um, I don't know if its effect is going to come up, but definitely one of the better tributes that we pulled. Um, Suk. I mean, this card is good in go format. Definitely gonna be good in sealed, so pretty cool. And Chaos Sork, we actually don't pull a lot of lights, but this will be like a good like top deck, like, you know, like, oh, no, sorry, not, not top deck, late game card. So with like no monsters or like one monster that I can out, which is not fade. I think that's my only light left. Yeah, yeah, I think I guess I only have three lights. Can't can't turn down like to Chaos Sork. It's just like such like that good of a card. Um, Two Granadora. This card's actually pretty good. When you summon it, you gain a thousand life. And, but if it dies, you take 2000, but it's, it's 1900. It's like, it's pretty much like one of the better beat sticks actually pretty nice not too bad um blindly loyal goblins this is 1800 it's just a beat stick to be honest um plays around snatch steel if he has it so it's kind of why i included it if he attacks um it while in defense and it has lower attack it just destroys the monster i believe yeah so it's basically like if it's face down you can just like you know kill it so pretty nice pretty nice uh dark elf this is a big beat stick it costs a thousand to attack but it's just two thousand so it's pretty broken uh let's just go with the chaos orc if i can just like get some uh banishing effects through i have a card i forgot what it's called it's like a different dimension gate i think something like that it just banishes one from each side and it will just summon itself back during the end phase so um i guess there's, there's some synergy with that demock uh this card's broken i explained that earlier in like when i pulled it just adds a spell from the grave uh bell dragon big beat stick um this guy is like imperial order for yourself but it's just like a two thousand beat stick i can distribute it for like something if like it becomes a problem so not really too concerned about it. It's 2000, not too bad. Crash Clown is a popping effect, or is it the one that returns? Sorry, is a returning effect if it's changed from defense to attack. So it's like pretty good removal, not too bad. 1400 defense isn't like too bad. Um, Wolfing Drill number two is just 
removal really uh and then the panda in case he has like a bunch of monsters i can just summon him as like a you know way to like you know crack back the board so yeah also there's pierces so who knows it might come up i am playing 42 cards i believe 41 or 42 cards so i'm just trying to like up the monster count so i don't like i always have like a monster to play with and then maybe some utility spells two mystic plasma zone boost darks lowers the defense not too keen on the defense anyways so you're trying to like just playing like aggro basically really block attack in case of the defense is uh low and then the attack's high two chain energy i don't every time i've seen this card played it's um it's always been pretty bad for the person playing it but if i can if you can stick a big guy first and you can activate it i think it's generally pretty good it's not too sure how it's gonna go but we can decide it out if it doesn't do well um seven completed i play a decent amount of machines so just giving a monster 700 attack or defense is pretty good you know uh smashing god i would say this is probably the, <laughs> the best card in my deck next to chaos work uh different dimension gate is one that's like banish one from yours their field um yeah so it's like basically removal and then like if you banish scout playing with it you can just summon it back so kind of just like removal more or less the ban card <laughs> we don't we, we didn't pull the fdk so um if it's just sure while equipped i can just add it back to my hand so it's just infinite money glitch it's just 300 attack pretty good pretty good very media crush okay yeah this one just pierces so um yeah I mean, it's pretty good. This is our MST, basically. Our only copy of MST, because we didn't pull literal MST. And then uh, Magic Drain to round off my deck. Um, they didn't pull any traps, so can't really, like make anything out of it so yeah it's uh i believe it's 41 42 not too sure and then for the side deck this is like really just like the most random cards ever i just like took out all the playable cards and just like you know made like a 55 60 card pile and then just put 15 cards in the side deck uh this guy attacks twice so maybe if you know there's some really bad cards in my deck i can just replace it with more monsters um this yeah you can just look at the top card of the deck and you can put it to the top or bottom uh, you don't know what the next card is but if it's bad you can keep it there if it's good you can put it to the bottom it could be good so i guess not too bad uh, I am playing two Ryo Koki, and this card just gives um 200 uh each turn. Uh, it has 1930 defense. That's pretty much why I would play it. If he's playing an equip equip deck, I can just uh, destroy all monsters with equip like equip spells to it. It works with my butterfly dagger Elma, so you know you never know if it's gonna be good or not. Or I could have mained it, but you know I don't think it'll be necessary. This basically just like lose one turn. It just changes them to defense if they summoned. Uh, cold wave in case I need like really go for game. Like <laughs> I don't know what I'm ever gonna use it for, but uh, this is really just like a burn card. Like in case the chain energy like strategy is like really good. Yeah, because I'm not sure if I want to play this card or not. And then it pops the field spell, I believe. If he commits to like a big field spell strategy, then we can maybe we can like uh, you know, catch him there. Uh, if he plays a bug deck, then um, yeah um i asked them before this if it was time so maybe if i'm like gonna die maybe it'll be helpful uh curse seal I i'm playing a bunch of spells with no traps so i don't know how many pot agrees he's gonna pull i don't know if he pulled three or not so if i see him using two then this will go in for sure so i can maybe you know blink a card by going minus one and this is basically just that spell card um eternal rest but in the trap form so really eternal rest oh, i just realized this is really eternal rest okay <laughs> that's why all right and then a uh, dna transplant and uh <laughs> the last card i'm citing is self-destruct button I really think that if I'm in a losing position, I can just reset the game and then we can uh, just like, <laughs> just like give me another chance to like, you know, rethink my strategy and whatever. But I didn't, I'm not playing an extra deck because, you know, I'm not trying to get his own lock for five. So, you know, flu players can do it. So why can't I? But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the deck. And hopefully, you know, better player wins. Hopefully his polls weren't like too much better than mine. And maybe it'll be like a more fair game. But um, I think I have a good shot at it. I think I did the best. I made the best deck I could with what I had. So uh, yeah, look forward to it. All right, so we definitely pulled some cards, and I actually think we have a cohesive strategy, but depending how Brian pulled, this all might be irrelevant. I'm gonna zip through these cards really quick, but before we get into the monsters, I just wanna kind of explain what I built this deck around. And of course, that's gonna be around the two copies of Chain Energy and the two copies of Chorus of Sanctuary. Now, we aren't a pure burn deck, but we have a lot of high defenders. We also have a lot of monsters to give Brian a reason to not attack. And then when you combine that with Chorus of Sanctuary boosting all my defense, then of course, really Brian attacking me really isn't gonna be a thing as long as I get what my deck's trying to do going. That also comes with some flaws. Brian could easily turn around and just play defensively himself. His monsters do get the boost as well, but we do have a couple of counterplays in our deck as well for if that does happen. So with that all in mind, we will talk about 
these again later. Hopping into the monsters, I guess the first ones we're going to talk about, of course, is the one Stealth Bird and the one Balloon Lizard. These are the only two burn monsters in the deck, Stealth Bird obviously being the best. When it's flip summoned, you burn for a thousand, and then once per turn, you can reset it face down, basically potentially burning for a thousand every turn. Balloon Lizard gets a counter every standby phase, and when it's destroyed, you can burn for 400 times each counter it had. Again, it's not the best burn card, but it's definitely an option, and again, we're trying to get it to where Brian doesn't want to attack us in the early game, and then once he sees these cards, well, it can put a lot of pressure on, especially with Chain Energy. Now, moving on to some of the monsters that are going to hopefully deter him from attacking, first being two copies of Kalbeck, our Ashizu support. I'm very glad we have this. This card's pretty good. If ever it's attacked at the end of the damage calculation, you can go ahead and bounce that monster it battled back to hand, which is really good because it's 18 defense, so not many things are going to run over it. Plus, with, of course, the field spell, it goes up to 23. It only works when he attacks, but again, if I set it face down and he attacks with something like an 18 beater, it'll get put back in hand, and while that's not a plus one, it definitely gets you ahead in tempo, and, well, that's something that's really important in old Yu-Gi-Oh! After that, we have a bunch of defenders. We have the Soul Tiger, the Prevent Rat, and the Island Turtle. These two are 2k, and this is 21, so again, with the field spell, none of these are getting ran over, even by something like Summon Skull, if he was lucky enough to pull it. Now, speaking of beat sticks, as you guys saw, we have the two Berserk Gorilla, which I'm very happy we got. I'm glad we have a 2k attacker, because we didn't hit any 19s. I also opted to play one Enraged Battle Ox. This gives all my beasts and beast warriors, and I guess Wing Beast Piercing, which we did decide to pair with a Ninken Dog, an 18 Vanilla. For the last couple of beaters, we do have one more Vanilla in Neo Bug. I did not play 7 Colored Fish. We also have the Blindly Loyal Goblin. This just can't get Snatch Dealed or Change of Hearted, so glad we have that. And then the last one of the normal summon bead sticks is the Dark Scorpion. He's just an 18 beater, but he does have some cool effects where if I do battle damage, he can do one or two things, but the main thing we're trying to do is target a monster in the field and put it back in the hand. For the last kind of beater in the deck, it's the one tribute summon, the Terror King Salmon. We had some options on what else we could use, but this is just the biggest and most generic for us. So that's it for the beaters. Moving on to the utility cards, we have the one Sangin, which searches out actually a lot of the deck. Gets us our Kelbags, our Defenders. Of course, it gets us our Burn Monsters with Stealth Bird and Balloon Lizard, so that's pretty neat. But in addition, it can also search the following. We also have the Four Star Ladybug. Great removal for the deck. And then after that, we have the one Hyper Hammerhead. Very similar to Kelbeck, but this works when I attack as well. It's not as good of a Defender, but really it makes it to where, again, if he's starting to play passively and play his monsters in defense, I can stick this on the field and start attacking his defense. After that, we have one Spear Cretan. We don't have, like, Reborn or anything, so this is the next best thing. And then for the last monster in the deck is the one Gakugaru Panda. I'm glad we pulled this. It does do piercing, so again, it's another way we can squeeze out damage. Now, of course, hopping back to spells, we had the two Chorus and we had the two Chain Energy. Again, with the monsters, you can kind of see what we're doing. We have the Beaters to get ahead in tempo and, of course, do some battle damage while slowly burning in with Chain Energy and, of course, never really being able to be attacked because, well, of course, the Sanctuary is going to really wall up our monsters. Now, to kind of go with the theme with this whole stall burn strategy, we also have the one copy of Final Countdown. Again, like I said, the problem with this deck is Brian could just start setting his monsters as well. So by playing Final Countdown, it's going to make it to where he can't play passive anymore and he's going to have to come after me and play a lot more aggressive, which is what I want him to do. After that, we have the one Shallow Grave, kind of like Spear Cretan. We play one stop defense, again, just kind of going with the strategy. If he starts to be defensive, we could switch his monster to attack and that way we can capitalize on it. It kind of acts like removal, but we also have some removal spells in the form of the one Fisher and of course the two Smashing Ground. For the last bit of removal, we have the Extermination. This is our back row removal. Uh, again, I'm just afraid of Sakus and Mirror Forces. And then we have our little equip package. We have the one Stim Pack, the one Shooting Star Bow, and the one Paralyzing Potion. Paralyzing Potion basically just stops a monster from attacking while it's equipped. Stim Pack, of course, gives you 700 and then it lowers by two each turn. And then Shooting Star Bow is pretty cool because it basically reduces your monster's attack by a thousand and allows you to attack directly. So again, another way we can squeeze damage out when the games are getting close. But really, there's no limitation on who you can equip it to. So I definitely just see myself equipping this to Brian's monster and reducing it by a thousand helping me, you know, run it over by battle. And then for the last spell in the deck, the Confiscation, the one good staple card, I guess, that we pulled. Very scared to see what Brian has. I'm sure he probably has at least something like, I don't know, Pot of Greed, Raigeki, a Snatch Deal, maybe even a Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm sounds horrifying against my deck, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Now, there's not a lot of good traps that we have access to, but we do have a small lineup. Of course, one being the Solemn Wishes. If we could see this early, it's going to definitely put us ahead, especially when we have Chain Energy on the field. After that, we have the Ojama Trio, like we mentioned before with the Gaku Gaier. We got 
got the one Saku, a great interruption, great way to protect our monsters. And of course the one Spellbinding Circle, another attack stopper. So I'm very glad we have this. And then for the last card in the main deck, we have the Curse of the Forbidden Seal. I opted to main deck this just because I'm gonna have a lot of continuous spells. I'm gonna have a lot of monsters on the field face down. So uh, I definitely need some kind of insurance policy. While it's not the best one, it's definitely something that answers the problem that my deck has. So that's it for the main deck. We actually pulled an extra deck. It's nothing fancy, but there you go. Pretty cool. Now the side deck isn't anything too crazy, but there's actually a little bit of everything depending on what he pulled and what kind of strategy he's bringing forward. If he's on a like equip based strategy, we have two Cyber Raider, Eternal Rest, and really Eternal Rest. These basically both just destroy the monsters that have equipped cards. And then Cyber Raider on Normal Summon can either destroy an equipped spell on Normal Summon or it can just re-equip the equipped spell to itself. As far as generic side, I have two Bombardment Beetle. This is just a flip effect monster that's, I don't want to say knock, but it targets a face down and if it's a flip effect, it destroys it. Now, we only pulled one DNA surgery, so I opted not to play the insect barrier, but I am still citing it on the off chance that Brian pulled insect barriers and DNA surgeries. In addition, we have the remove trap and the uh, crimson ninja. Again, just trap removal in general, whether it's something that like IO or, of course, the DNA surgery. Now, outside of that, really, it's just kind of some generic stuff. I have some generic removal in the form of share the pain and two prong attack. And then if Brian also takes the burn route, we have one cannon soldier and one enchanted javelin. And this, again, is just if he's on Ojama Trio, we contribute those tokens and turn it around to where we're burning him for free. Also freeing up our monster zones just in case. And then, of course, Enchanted Javelin's not the best, but it is another way to get life points back. And after that, we just have one more card in the side, and it's really more determinative on what Brian pulls. But, of course, it's the one copy of Grave Robber. I didn't want to put this in the main because I didn't want to burn myself for 2k. I'm also paying 2k for the final countdown. So, you know, with Chain Energy, it's a little risky. But if Brian does have a lot of DM staples, then this is definitely going to have to go in because otherwise we're just going to fall behind and we need something to catch us back up. Again, nothing too crazy. Hopefully this does good enough. He could have 100 Pot of Greeds and uh, Regeki, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, all that good stuff, and it could be very hard for us. But I think if he pulled as fair as we did, that our little stall burn strategy actually should do pretty dang good and sealed. But we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to the duel. All right, how was your pulls, Brian? Uh, they're pretty good. They were definitely cards for sure. I feel pretty confident, but again, depending on what DM staples you have, uh, yep, might not be that great. Uh, high roll, cool. Uh, high roll, cool. Okay. Ooh, nine. nine. All right. All right, six. six. I will go first. You will. All right. Go good luck. 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 Go luck. Go luck. Hopefully, you don't hand loop me turn one. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? All right, so let's draw for turn. Yes, sir. Standby main. And uh, speaking of hand loop here. Oh um, my god. I pulled the best card in my deck. That is the best card in your deck. So is that, is that a thousand? <laughs> That's a thousand life points. All right. Well, Let's take I guess a you can already see what I pulled. Okay. Oh god. Um, I think I'm going to have to get rid of <laughs> the biggest of the bunch. All right. Um, I will opt to oh. set a monster up. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll set a back row. And I'm going to activate the field spell Chorus of Sanctuary. Oh my god, is this the one that boosts defense? Oh my god. Alright, go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. I think I will start off by summoning my Gaga Gigo. Okay. I think I will just take a peek of what you have there. I'm expecting to take some damage there. I don't yeah. know how much So this taking. is Kelvec. We're playing oh, the Sheezers today. Oh my god. <laughs> so it bounces a card. Yes, yeah, so now that it battled, it bounces it back to your hand. Oh my god, so I take uh, 550. Well, I will set one card and I will pass it back to you. All right, draw. I think I'm just gonna switch this guy to attack. Okay. I'm gonna get in for another 1500. All right, that's me at 1550. All right, I'll set another one and then I'll pass to you. I will draw off a turn. I will set a card and pass to you. All right, draw for turn. Yes, sir. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna normal summon another Calvac. Oh my god. Jesus, man. What the? Am I discarded? Do I, do I also melt it? <laughs> That's fine. Okay. All right, we're gonna go to battle and yep. I'm gonna swing in. Yep. So it'll be 1700. Right? 17 to 15, so I will take 200. Yep. And it goes to my hand. And yes, yeah, so I will use okay. the effect. All right, so editor Justin here, and just like I mentioned in my profile, Kelbeck doesn't work when I attack, it has to be when it's attack. Both of us completely missed it, so, you know, I guess at this point it's accepted game state. It's funny because this actually came up for us later, but again, we knew that it didn't work that way. But regardless, it looks like I got away with one this time. 
let's keep watching. And then I'll go ahead and get in for another 15. Yep. And I'll pass. All right. I will draw for turn. Quite, quite the hand here. So I will start by normal summoning Grandmaster. <laughs> so I'll be gaining a thousand. And then uh, I will pass to you. All right. Draw for turn. Yes, sir. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna set a monster, and we're gonna swap these to defense. Okay. And I'll pass. All right. I will draw off for turn. Uh, I'll just set a monster, and I will pass to you. Alright, draw. If anyone's game right now. I'm gonna set one more. Oh Go man, ahead. the Great Wall. All right, <laughs> I will draw off for turn. Right, Yankee for game. Yankee for game for sure. <laughs> no Starlight Road. What I will do is I will flip this. Oh, okay. I believe it works when I flip it from yep. face down. So I will use it to target um, this new set. Then I will set a monster and I'll just pass it to you. All right, and draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna switch one of these to attack mode. Okay. And go to battle. Yep. Attack. So for 150. I'm gonna go ahead and set one again and pass. I will draw for turn. Um, I'll enter the battle phase. Yeah. And I'll attack the Kelpic. Do you have anything before damage step? Um, I think on declaration, I'm gonna activate spell binding circle. <laughs> I didn't even know you could pull this card in this set. <laughs> um, well, in the main phase two, I will opt to normal summon this guy. Okay. All right, draw for turn. Yep. I'm gonna start with stop defense. All right, so I'll just change the defense of this, right? I changed that to attack. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, next, I'm gonna activate stim pack and equip it to Keldek, giving it 700 attack. Then I will change this Keldek to attack. Sure. And then I will go to the battle phase. Sure. We'll go 22 over your 19. Uh, then after that, we'll attack with the other Kelbeck over your scout. And then <laughs> main phase two. Yep. I'll flip some in Stealth Bird. So that would... On flip, I can burn you for a thousand. Ooh, okay. So put you at 13. And then I'll activate its effect to set itself. Sounds good, okay. Cool. Cool, all right. I will draw off a turn. I will start by attributing oh. for Ryu Koku. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, I will yeah. enter the battle phase and I'll attack the stone. All right. In the main phase two, I will set one card. Ooh, one. And I will pass it to you. Go ahead. All right. Draw for turn. Yeah, I don't need to bounce anything, really. Yeah, I'm going to have to change these to defense. Yeah, I guess I just want to attack them, I think. <laughs> I think that might be the better <laughs> idea. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I'm not dead yet, but I will draw off for turn. Alright, I will enter battle phase and I'll attack into that one. So you're attacking this one, yep, right? I'm attacking that one, yeah. Alright, so that's the ladybug. Yep. Um, well, for my next trick, uh, <laughs> main phase two, I will summon the legendary seven colored fish. <laughs> oh, God. And I know you can't destroy it unless you crash next turn, so with that, I will pass to you. Go ahead. Alright. Well, we're on even, even playing grounds right now. Right, right. I'm just hoping um, this little six monster gets me there. We're gonna set a new monster and pass. All right, well, I feel a lot better in this <laughs> game state than I was a second ago. All right, well, I will start by entering the battle phase. Okay. And I will attack this one. Okay, this is my soul tiger, and it's at 25 defense. Because oh it feels Wait, is it a so. Beast? No, it's a warrior spellcaster. Ooh, okay, so I think <laughs> I'll be taking 200. Ooh, I am. Dangerous. i on, on thin ice right now. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna make phase two. I'll mm. just go ahead and summon this. With that, I will pass to you. All right. Draw. All right, we're gonna go to main phase one. Yes, you will. And now I will tribute summon. Okay. <laughs> For my what Terra King that? Salmon. So I'm gonna go to battle phase. Yes, you will. And I'm gonna try to crash with Ryokoki. I have nothing in attack deck. Do you have anything in damage deck? I don't. Well, lucky for you, I don't have oh. anything that would enhance the attack of my <laughs> oh, monster. Like, so. Rush recklessly? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to stay around. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I will tribute both of my monsters. What? To summon <laughs> Barrel Dragon. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna be like Blue Eyes or something. Oh, gosh. No, I so mean, if you use the promos, it would be a lot easier. Um, All right, I'll right. activate the effect, and I will target your set monster. Sounds good. 
Oh, that's one. Okay, okay that's well. One even. All right, and. Well, it's off screen, but it it's was. It's off screen, but it wasn't too, so I'll be destroying your monster. Well, for the sake of not losing this barrel dragon, I will pass it to you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Draw. Yes, sir. <laughs> now I'm hoping you didn't pull a whole ice white dragon. <laughs> I think I just chill. I don't think I push right now. Okay. Um, go ahead. All right. Well, I will throw off for turn. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, I will activate Bale Dragon and target the one that's not being stim packed right now. Sounds so, good. So, <laughs> all right. Just need two. All oh, right. Man, legendary. Whose card was this again? Was it um? Uh, Bandit Keats. Bandit Keats. Oh, no wonder why he always hits, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh oh. All we right, have a swipe off. now. We have a swipe now. Come on, give me a turn. And oh all right. man. Okay. <laughs> Can't win them all. You want to attack? Uh, I don't think I will actually. Um, I think I will just set a monster and then I will pass to you. Go ahead. Alright. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna normal summon Enraged Battle Ox. Oh! I see. <laughs> I think as much as I want to swing at that defense person to try to get in that damage, I'm actually gonna activate Shooting Star Bow. <laughs> oh man. What is this one? So this can either, I equip it to a monster and it loses a thousand attack, then it can attack directly. So it's at 700, right? I'm actually going to equip it to your monster. Ooh, so it's it puts 16. it 16. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a pretty cool strategy. Got it. Okay. All right, I'm going to go to battle. Yes, sir. And I'm going to try to hit over this problem card. <laughs> All right, so I'll be for 100, correct? All right, okay, that was All weird. Right. I didn't Dang, know if you had like a it. Sakuretsu or a Mirror no, Force. No, no, no. All right. The wall lives. Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, you have two cards, I have three. I have three. All right, I will draw off for turn. I think I'll just start by just summoning him. Okay. It's 18, so, and I'll just go for him. Yep, I'll take 100. Okay, 67. Do something, I might be in trouble. So I think I'll just go ahead and activate Smashing Ground. Since you have two monsters with the same defense, I'll just destroy the one that's not. Sounds good. All right, All right and with that, I'll pass it to you. All right, draw. All right, well, and now it's at zero now. I'm gonna pass again. All right, I'll yeah. draw for turn. I'm gonna need something nice here. All right. Man, that barrel dragon's like the scariest yeah. card. <laughs> I'll set a monster and I'll pass it to you. Go ahead. All right, draw. Yep. You have five cards in your hand. I know. I hope they're all situational cards. Play out of the infirm column. Go yep, ahead. yes sir. Alright. <laughs> I will draw off for turn. Ooh, that is arguably the worst card in my deck, actually. Oh. Very I'd, interesting. Okay. I'd like to hear that. I will set a card, and I will pass to you. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna pass. Alright, well, I will draw off for turn. Um, pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, draw. <laughs> we'll just put another guy in. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Ah, man. It is nothing. Can't wait to get stealth bird. I'm gonna put one more face down. Sure. All right, I will draw for turn. I will flip my <laughs> Bogainen yin, yin, and then I will activate seven completed to target him. So he just gives his 700 <laughs> attack or defense. Okay. And attack, so 2, he has 2,000. I think I will, just so I can start clearing some guys. So I will just attack into him. 2,000. This is Island Turtle. So it is Island so Turtle. So take 500. With that, I will just pass it to you. All right. Yeah, I'm fine with keeping it. It's like 2,000, so. Let's normal summon Berserk Gorilla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Let's go battle phase yep. and try to get in for two. Correct. Okay, cool. And then main phase two, I'm gonna try to smashing ground your guy there. Okay. Okay. And then I'll pass. Alright. I will draw for turn. Well, in that case, I will activate my Mystic Plasma <laughs> Zone. And now I gotta think about what I should summon. I will summon the panda. So I think I will enter the battle phase. Okay. And I will attack the gorilla. I have nothing in the damage step, before damage step. Okay, I'm gonna try to sock you. You will try to sock you. Okay, okay, that's fine. All right, and then with that, I will pass to you. Go ahead. All right, draw. All right, I actually have another one. I see. Okay, well, <laughs> there goes minus one in card economy. Okay. And I have to attack. This does beef up your defense, but you got puny stuff. I'll attack this one. All right, one. well, unfortunately, it is a morphing jar number two. So I believe okay. it shuffles events in the deck, and then we excavate until we see um, monsters. Luckily for me, I cannot lose this turn because they summon the face on defense. Okay. Oh, he's back. Oh, oh, that's oh, my turtle. 2k defense. Okay. Blind the goblin. 
And a oh, oh my god. Turtle. All right, your move. Right, I will draw off the turn. I will set one card and I'll pass to you. Go ahead. All right, draw. Yep. Um, I'll pass. All right, I will draw off the turn. I will start by setting a card and pass to you. Go ahead. I'm looking okay. at your grave real quick. Draw. See what we got cooking here. Okay, so I'm gonna main phase one activate Nobleman of Extermination. I'm trying to pop this card. Okay, for the sake of that, you banished my magic drain. So, oh, do you have a magic drain? I don't. Okay, well, I was just hoping that you did. All right. All right, then I'm gonna normal summon Hyper Hammerhead. Oh no, does he pierce? No, but he's almost like Kelbeck, but this time I can attack. Okay. But we'll no, go got, to okay. battle phase, and so I'm gonna attack the new card. Let's see okay. what it is. So it's the Dark Elf. All right, I will draw for turn. Well, in the spirit of trying to destroy that card, um, I'll start by normal summoning Shadow Knight Archfiend. Oh god. All right. Well, I will enter the battle phase and I will yeah. attack your, uh... With that, I will pass to you. Go ahead. All right. Draw. Yep. Set. And pass. All right. This is my thing for you. Oh, no, my thing for you. Okay. Well, I will draw. And since I cannot pay the life points, I will be this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I will set a card and I will pass to you. Go ahead. Draw. <laughs> yep. What am I cooking? I'll flip summon Blindly Loyal Goblin, okay. and we'll attempt to swing. All right, well, I will flip Ooh. the Magician of Faith. And what the odds you pull the entire place <laughs> out of five packs? Yeah, you I will grab spell? the Mystic Plasma, oh, okay. so. All right, your move. I will draw for turn. <laughs> I will start by replacing your Field Spell. Okay. And you guessed it, I'll be banishing a light <laughs> and oh God, is it BLS? a dark. Not quite, oh, okay. but it's pretty Ooh. close. <laughs> uh, do you have anything on the summon of my Chaos Horse? I, uh, I will attempt to target your monster to banish it for the rest of the game. Okay. Yeah, and then during the end phase, I'll activate my scout point and summon itself back. Draw? Yep. All right. Let's go Berserk the villain. Oh, he's back. Okay, <laughs> well, that's fine. And then we'll swing. Yep, he doesn't pierce, right? No, no, <laughs> okay. No. That was my combo. That was my turn 20 banished uh, coming back combo. <laughs> yeah, it took a lot of setup. But... Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Smashing <laughs> ground. All right. And fast. Okay. I will drop a turn. I think I will normal summon Tsukiyomi. Oh, and yeah. I will put that face down. That's a good combo. Yep, and it just has just, and just, just enough. enough. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a 16, but if this was on the field, I would have just enough to kill it. So I'll enter the battle phase and I'll destroy it. All right. Yep, and as you know, it will go back to my hand and go ahead. Draw. Yep. How many cards do you have left in your deck, my friend? 11. How many? I have 13. You have 14. Oh, oh this I isn't see. Looking good. <laughs> I see. I'm going to set one. Okay. And pass. Okay. I'll draw for turn. I think I'll just go for a humble set and pass to you. Go ahead. All right, we're going to draw. Yes, you will. Let's flip Cal back. That's fine. And go to battle. Sure. Let's see what that is. Uh, at 15 and yeah, 16. 16. So you'll be taking 100? 100. Main phase 2. I'm gonna flip summon Balloon Lizard. Oh, does this one burn? And it burns if you let it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. I think this is the perfect counter to play around everything. So I will normal summon my Tsukiyomi and I will target your lizard. Yeah. Yep. And I will uh, enter the battle phase. Uh, I will attack for 100. Mm -hmm. And this goes to my hand. Oh, it goes anyway. there anyways. So. <laughs> and with that, I will pass to you. All right, draw. Yes, sir. <sighs> go really? ahead. All right, I will draw for turn. Game one going to really go to deck out, huh? Well, you had your chance. I will set a monster, and I will pass to you. Go ahead. Draw. Yep. Set? Yep. Pass. I will draw. <laughs> uh, I will set one, and I will pass. Go ahead. Draw. Yep. Energy. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. All right. So I will draw for turn. I'll just pass to you. Okay. I don't think I'll have enough turns. Just fine. Go ahead. And I'll pass. Okay. I will draw. Um, and I'll pass. Draw. Um, pass. I will draw, and I will pass. Draw. 
Just gonna go seven now. Yep, and I will pass. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw. I will pass. All right, draw. Normal summon. <laughs> uh, that was it, huh? Battle phase. Okay. Attack for game. <sighs> yep, that will do oh, it. That okay. will do it. Oh man. All right, I'll be starting. Good luck, man. Sounds great. Good luck. All right. So I'll be drawing five plus one. All right. I think I will start by normal summoning Dark Elf. Okay. So right now it's just there to protect my life point. And with that, I'll pass to you. Go ahead. Ooh, okay. Yep. I will draw. Stand by main. Yes, sir. I'm going to pay 2,000 life points <laughs> to activate final. Uh, so you are. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, can't deck you out this time. Yep, you are on the clock now. And then... Yep, you brought a set four cards there, buddy. <laughs> Oh no, we're not that good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, life was <laughs> not an issue anymore, so I will draw out for turn. No more stalling here. No Mystic yeah. Mind back out, bro. Yeah, you're we're right. On the clock. I think I'll start by summoning my Bokanian. All right. Yeah. So I will. I'll just go to battle. Okay. Um, I'll pay a thousand to attempt to attack with my Dark Elf. Okay, and that is a Prevent Rat. That is a Prevent Rat, I see. <laughs> okay, um, and with that, I will pass you. All right, we'll go to the main phase here, right. and I'm gonna normal summon Enraged Balrox. And he's back. Okay. All right, well, well you want to get to attack? <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> so that's 400 to you. All right, trying to get you to play a little more aggressively this game. Go ahead. Okay, so be it then. I will draw. Um, I will start by summoning my <laughs> panda, so okay. I'll be gaining a thousand attack. So it's 18? Yep, oh, and yeah. I will attempt to enter the battle phase. Okay. I will attack that. And just in case there's some chain energy, I will set <laughs> two cards face down what? and I will pass it back to you. You think I'm that degenerate, eh? Yeah. Let's go main phase one. Yep. I'm gonna tribute summon the good old fish again. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's go to the battle. We're gonna swing into the panda. So it's at 1300, so I'll be taking 11. And uh, I'll pass. Right, That's so this fine. Is five. I will draw off a turn. All right, well, I will put you on a clock. So oh. I will start by normal summoning my Archfiend. For my next trick, I will activate Fairy Meteor Crush, and I'll actually be targeting your monster. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'll activate Eternal Rest. Ooh! So any monsters equipped will be destroyed. <laughs> okay. All right. And I'll enter the battle phase. All so right. I'll swing for 2,000. And with the cost of 1,000 life, I'll attack for another 2,000. Does that connect? That one I'm going to sock a red suit. Ooh, okay. Um, I'll pass to you. That was six. All right. Go ahead. Draw for turn. I'm going to set a monster. Yes, you will. I'm going to set a background. Okay. And then I'm going to activate chain energy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I see. Okay. Your turn. Back. So I will be taking my 900. So I'll pay 500, and I'll summon my Granador. Oh, so now you can gain a thousand. Yep, now I'm a thousand richer. All right. Now I will enter the battle phase. All right. All right. I'll attack with my 2,000 guy. Soul Tiger. I'll take a hundred. Oh, fantastic. All right. I will not be attacking with my Granadora, and I will pass to you. Uh, Go ahead. Draw. No um, real urgency, huh? Got yeah. 2100 defense. Those smashing grounds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of wanted you to keep burning yourself, but I, if you tribute some of that Barrel Dragon next turn, I think I'd lose. Well, I'll need to hit it, right? <laughs> right, but I'm not yeah. like... Yeah, that's true. Okay, I will draw. Well, I'll pay 500 and that'll be turn 10. And go ahead. Draw. Yep. Ooh, okay. I will be paying 500 to set a card. And then once again, I'm going to be paying 500 to smash, and then you will take 2,000. I will! So I'm at 15. Oh, that was a pretty good draw. Yeah. Alright. And... Well, go ahead. So I'll pay 500. Let me just make sure. I'll pay 500 though, so I'll be at 1,000. Alright, and I'll pass you back. At the end phase, I'm going to activate <laughs> Solemn Wishes. <laughs> now every time I draw a card, I'll gain 500. Okay. So draw. Yep. I feel like again, two tribute is so scary. I'll pay the 500 I just gained. Okay. We'll go to the battle. Sure. And I'm gonna attack the new set. All right. It is morphing jar oh. number two. <laughs> okay. So you get one. <sighs> I get two. Yep. All right. I'm hoping that my guys is better than your guys. Give me a stealth bird. One time. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs>
Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> oh, and I got two here. I got Pearl <laughs> and Neobug. Ooh, that might be the writing on the wall for sure. Team. Well, I drew the only card in my deck that I can actually play, so I guess that's pretty good. So I will pay 500 life. <laughs> the last card? I'll summon my kind of Tora. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's get 15 back. I get 15, okay. Yeah, I don't know how effective it will be, but... um. Okay. I'll attack the weaker one. Okay, yeah, so yeah. that's gone. And then um, I will pass the turn, go ahead. Okay, draw. Yep. I will once again gain 500. Yes, you will. Oh man, this strategy is uh, <laughs> it's quite lovely. I think I just pass. Alright, well, I will draw. So I will pay 500 and almost summon my... Put me in that one again. Alright, well, I can't kill that, so I will just pass the turn. Go ahead. Draw. Yep. Hell Dragon's so good. Bro, on top of that, I need to hit it too. It's not like I mean, it's I like... gotta wall up my life points. Yeah. And... Again. I'll pay five. Go ahead. Alright, so I that was... Draw. The Boganian. Yeah. Okay. Well, lucky for yeah. me, I will be <laughs> tricky summoning all reliable Barrel okay. Dragon. Um, so I'll destroy the one that I know is an Island Turtle. All and right. I need two evens. Ooh. Don't sweat it. Oh With no! Right. Needs to be in! Come on! <laughs> Ooh! Oh, okay, okay. Alright, the real sweat for all the marbles. <laughs> if Bandit Keith has taught me anything, it's whatever it takes. <laughs> Come on. No! Yes! Okay. Oh my god. I'm not dead. I think that might be, I'm not I think dead. That might be it then. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna blindly can. swing at well, the I'll, face I'll, I'll, I'll hit the turtle for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that does go. <laughs> and I'll pass it to you, go ahead. Alright, draw. Game 500. Yeah. And uh, main phase one. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I, I, I really need to do it. <laughs> good game, man. Good games, man. So good. Oh. Hey, I'll see what just popped me that. Oh, it didn't matter, but like. Um, yeah, yeah, you needed this to go. I <sighs> need to go attack the monster. Hope you don't have a monster and just swing over. For right, games, exactly. Right? Man, those were some crazy awesome games. I still can't believe after a confiscation and, of course, a free Kelbeck effect, I still almost lost that game one. But game two, I did feel like I was in the driver's seat. Final countdown really came through, forcing Brian to play aggressively. And again, like I mentioned in the profile, that's what we were looking to do. Oh uh, yeah, well, those were some pretty close games. Um, I would say that first game, you know, felt like it was pretty un unwinnable at the start. But, um, you know, after uh, some pretty good top decks and then, um, I guess his less good top decks, you know, we were able to like kind of claw our way back till the very end. Game two, I felt like I was like in the driver's seat for the most part, but um, I think he had a really good smashing ground earlier because um, I did open the Barrel Dragon, but yeah, he had to read that if he gets Barrel Dragon, then he probably loses. So he just kept me off the uh, the two tributes for like the uh, entirety of the game and it kind of it kind of cost me for sure. Yeah, overall, no, those are some good games. Definitely excited to do the main box sets. Definitely hoping we pull more like DM staples and stuff, you know, makes it a little more like crazy. But yeah, you know, look forward to it. And then um, yeah, catch you guys later. So that's going to wrap things up for today's episode. Thank you guys again for tuning in. It really means the world. This channel has been growing so fast and it's all because of people like you. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. July 28th, we get our booster boxes. So like I stated before, even though we were able to get away with a win today, you know we're going to run it back. Once again, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And here's hoping to see you guys on the next one. Peace.